So in this lesson, we're going to learn about the origins of genetic variation. Now, we're going to look at how mutations are the source of new variations and how the process of random assortment and crossing over during meiosis also give rise to new combinations of alleles in gametes. And we'll also look at the process of random fertilization during sexual reproduction to also bring about genetic variation. So in order for the survival and evolution of species, you need new versions and combinations of genes. Now this is called genetic variation, and there are three ways this typically happens. Through the process of meiosis, through mutations, and through random fertilization of gametes. So meiosis is used to produce haploid gametes in the sex organs. When the chromosomes align in homologous pairs in metaphase one, they can arrange with maternal or paternal on either side. This is what we call independent assortment. Now this creates over 8 million combinations of how the chromosomes could be assorted in the final gametes, creating huge amounts of variation. In prophase one of meiosis, a large enzyme complex cuts and sticks part of the maternal and paternal chromosomes between the homologous pairs at the chiasmata. This is called crossing over. This creates lots of new allele combinations and therefore genetic variation. There is also a potential source of mutation which can add further variation. A mutation is a permanent change in the DNA of an organism. There are three main types of mutation. Point mutations, which are a change in one or, or a small number of nucleotides. Chromosomal mutations, a change to the position of genes within a chromosome or chromosome mutations where an entire chromosome is lost or gained. Most mutations are not beneficial, but when there is an environmental change, a new variation caused by mutation could become an adaptation. In this way, they are the source of evolutionary change. Lastly, random fertilization. Now the male and female gametes from two unrelated individuals fuse to form a new genetic individual. Which gametes fuse in fertilization is random and it brings with it huge variation due to the huge numbers of possible gametes in the first place. For example, in humans, the male can ejaculate up to 150 million genetically individual sperm, each of which could fertilize the ovum. 